Ah, what a grand and glorious day we have to celebrate this, the graduation of the mighty class of 2018 from the Beaver Creek High School. I would like to begin by introducing some of our distinguished guests. Please, in the interest of time, hold your applause until all the names have been called. On the Diaz, in the first row to my far right, Yvonne Edwards, assistant principal at the high school. Denny Morrison, board member. Darren Schwederman, director of human resources. Bobby Fiore, director of student services. Mr. Jason Enix, assistant superintendent. Mr. Paul Otten, superintendent. To my immediate left, in the far end, Ms. Laura Bailey, assistant, assistant principal. Joanne Regano, board, board member. Greg Thompson, business services director. Mike Schumann, technology director. Gary Martin, assistant principal. In the back row, to my far right, Krista Hunt, board member. Penny Rucker, Rucker. Where's Penny? Penny's out of turn. Treasurer. Uh, let's see who's next. Maria Link, special ed supervisor. Lisa Walk, elementary principal. Susan Pebler, elementary principal. And to my far left back row, Officer Mark Brown, SRO High School. <laughs> Officer Matt Hickey, SRO Middle Schools. Jamie Sweet, Principal, Ferguson Hall. Jean Taylor, board member, and Peg Arnold, board member. Whew. You know, I am, a, I am able to be up here today, as are all of us sitting around, by the grace of some incredible individuals that decided to put their respective lives on the line for all of us. Many they don't even know. So, if you have served or are currently serving in the military, would you please rise to be recognized as you represent the best in all of us. Likewise, soon-to-be graduates, if you have enlisted or are currently serving in the military, would you please also rise, because you too represent the best in all of us. Over to my left and strewn about the crowd are members of district staff, teaching staff, many of which remember you as a young, sweet, innocent, rule-following, teacher-pleasing students. Oh, how the times have changed us, right? Staff, thank you for establish establishing such a solid academic foundation for all of these young men and women before us. <laughs> Finally, literally everyone seated here today has had a positive influence on these soon-to-be graduates. You kept them safe, had subtle and difficult conversations, instilled strong ethics and morals, and occasionally jump down their throats when it was needed so that they could wake up this morning and finish this incredible chapter in their lives. Thank you all, uncles, aunts, parents, grandparents, for helping us get these young people here today. I woke up about 6.15 this morning 
excited, and to be honest, a little bit nervous. While this is my 10th high school graduation as a principal, it is my first as a beaver, and my first ever in the morning. So to calm myself, I went to my time-tested pregame routine, which includes a cup of coffee with my wife and a short walk with my trusty 10 and a half year old dog. I have to confess, standing in front of you all today makes me feel a little bit like that last kid left on the dodgeball team, kind of cowering in the corner, waiting to be pelted into submission by all of you. Man's best friend has never let me down. He knows when his master needs support. Armed with my freshly brewed coffee, which I made myself, thank you very much. I go over to my dog and I say, come on boy, let's go for a little walk, calm daddy down. He looks up at me and says, not today, chubby. Can't you see I've just hit the marrow in this bone I've been gnawing on for two days? You're a big boy now, suck it up and face the music. So I stand before you this morning armed with an incredible amount of confidence. Seniors, some 13 years ago, your parents sent you to school with the hopes that this day would arrive. They were excited and a little bit nervous because they knew many of the challenges you would face on the journey to this moment. You were excited too and a little bit nervous because you had no idea what was in store. Slowly, during elementary school, you began to figure it out. You made some friends to sit with at lunch and to find on the playground. You figured out that A says both A and A, ah. I goes before E except after C, and soon after you were rolling through two column addition and green eggs and ham like a champ. Then middle school hit and dreaded adolescence. Ladies, you grew 10 feet tall and you couldn't understand why boys acted so immature. That's a question you will continually ask yourself for the next 50 years. <laughs> and gentlemen, you thought you had game talking with the girls. In reality, you were all red and splotchy, your hands were drenched, and the words were a cacophony of consonants all smushed together. Somehow, you made it to high school, passed the ninth grade into the big house. This is where it all came together for you. Research papers were for real. Grades meant something. The Pythagorean theorem and stoichiometry and the Cold War became more than just words. You worked hard in the classroom and in extracurriculars because they now meant something to your future. You still found time to meet the one true love of your life several different times. And finally, you made it to your senior year. I met all of you in August in our first assembly. You were polite until I introduced one new rule, one stinking simple little rule. I was eviscerated, scalded, obliterated, and left a shell of a man. There was talk of a student boycott. It was so bad, some of you even came up to me patted me on the shoulder as if to say, don't worry, old fella, it'll get a little bit better. And better it did get. We negotiated a treaty, and Beanie Sales and Beaver Creek went through the roof. We tried to listen better, and when we did, you told us the truth, almost always. You tried to give more ownership to your school, and the creek began to rise, homecoming week and our pep assembly, which you organized completely, turned the joy inside out. Some of our lunchroom conversation and hallway talks will stick with me forever. Your collective work ethic has resulted in a district championship in cross country, a sectional championship in men's golf, and a women's golf advancing to the districts for the first time ever. And while we didn't make the playoffs in football, we did lay a snobber locking or slobber knocking, as it is, on, the, on a school that did go. Our women won the league in soccer and the GWAC East Tennis Tournament. 
our men's bowling team made it to state again. We sent three women to state gymnastics, nine in swimming, one from our G-Walk East wrestling championship team. Hockey, you won your division. Men's track came in third out of 20 G-Walk schools, while our women beat every G-Walk school for their first crown in over 30 years. Like both our track teams, both our G-Walk East champ baseball team and our conference champ and top 10 rated volleyball team are still going strong in the state tournament. Oh, I forgot one more achievement athletically. You may have heard about our league championship, district championship, regional championship, state championship, an undefeated season, and fifth rank in the nation for our men's soccer squad. Not that I'm bragging, just the facts. If music is your thing, our choirs all receive superior ratings at state competition. Maybe you've heard of our 301 member marching band, also known as the des best damn high school marching band in the land, that also received all superior ratings in OMEA, as well as spawning a competition percussion squad that was ranked as high as seventh in the nation. Maybe it's academics that are your thing, ours too top new robotics team in the region, an Envirothon competition team that plays second in the state. Beaver Creek boasts the top speech and debate competitor in the state. God, I wish they were standing here now instead of me. I know you do as well. We also have the top academic challenge team in the GWAC and the state of Ohio, and they qualified for the National History Bowl yet again. And for icing on the cake, ladies and gentlemen, 1.6 million students from across the nation attempted to qualify as National Merit Scholars. Of those, some 15,000 achieved commended status. Beaver Creek High School had 16 of those. Of those 16, nine qualified as National Merit semifinalists. Of those nine, all nine achieve national merit finalist status. That is simply incredible. But seniors, perhaps your greatest achievements at BHS are yet to come. You showed us that when we trust you, you'll keep that trust. When we work together, you'll impress us beyond expectations. You're changing the culture for the better. You put together the greatest senior prank of all time when a lot of folks thought you couldn't do it. Juniors are still talking about that slip and slide. Now, if you would only erase the video of the big guy flopping around like a fish, we'd be really happy. So now, you will join storied Beaver Creek classes of the past, not as a footnote, but as an exclamation point. The next chapter awaits. Be excited, but don't be nervous anymore. You've proven yourselves. Live large, Creek, and remember, we love you most of the time. Would we please all rise for the playing of the national anthem?
Good morning. On behalf of the Beaver Creek Board of Education, its faculty and staff, I too would like to welcome you to the Beaver Creek High School 2018 Commencement Ceremony. It is indeed a true pleasure to be with you this morning to celebrate the successes of this fine group of seniors and send them off to pursue their dreams. Over their many years of schooling, I am confident that they have learned a great deal. One thing that I have learned over the past seven years of serving as a superintendent is that no one really wants to hear a long speech from the superintendent. So I would like to share with our seniors some simple thoughts and end with some valuable advice. Students, this commencement ceremony is a time to remember your classmates, teachers, and the great times that you had at Beaver Creek. But do not view today as the end of your education. A commencement is a formal ceremony in which individuals receive a degree. It is also defined in the dictionary as a beginning. You are all prepared to begin your lives from this point forward, knowing that you have gained a base of knowledge and a set of skills that have prepared you for success in whatever endeavor you choose to begin. That preparation involved the joint efforts of you, your teachers, family, and friends. Albert Einstein is quoted as saying, bear in mind that the wonderful things you learn in your schools are the work of many generations. All this is put in your hands as your inheritance in order that you may receive it, honor it, add to it, and one day faithfully hand it to your own children. Students, today is all about you. However, do not allow today to pass without finding the time to personally thank those who have assisted you with reaching the chair you are seated in today. Each year, I have had the pleasure to look off this stage and see smiles, grins, and a sense of nervousness and excitement from our graduating seniors. When I look to the arena at our guests, I see many of the same expressions on their face but I also see something different. I see pride, love, and a beaming sense of accomplishment. Students, your parents and family members have worked so hard to assist you in getting here. What may have looked as them pestering you was really them pushing you to be the best that you could become. As a parent of four children, I can assure you that the work of raising kids is exhausting. Look at your parents. No, seriously, I want you to look at your parents. <laughs> I think you would agree, they look like they just finished a marathon. <laughs> In fact, I saw a few of them crawling through the parking lot to get here today. <laughs> Understand, students, every parent and adult in this arena who has supported you desires one thing for your life to be better than their own. We want your life to be a story worth telling. Students, take a moment to think of the things that your parents have done for you over the years to see you here today. How many evenings have they spent sitting on your bed reading to you? Who drove you to the practice field, school concerts, school events, to sleepovers? How many lunches have they packed? over the years, and how many hours have they logged at the kitchen table assisting you with homework? Trust me, your parents did not sit in the classes, so homework was really hard for them. I also believe that many of them feel as they too should be receiving a diploma today. How much money have they spent on you so that you could participate in school activities, attend events, travel on school field trips, purchase the lunch of the day in the cafeteria, buy tickets for dances, fill your gas tank, pay school fees, and the list goes on. Whatever you think the amount may be, know that you're nowhere close. It's a big number, and your parents don't even want to know what that number is. Your parents can remember the first day of school like it was yesterday. They held your hand at the bus stop as you, as you waited for the big yellow bus to arrive to take you to school. You were dressed in your best clothes, your hair was perfect, 
pictures were taken earlier and your backpack tended to be bigger than you. As you ran up the steps of the bus and waved from the window, your parents smiled, they waved back, but their heart was breaking just to see how fast you were growing up. Today, those emotions flood back to them. Once again, you are dressed in your best clothes. Your hair looks perfect under those caps. Pictures will be taken later and your backpack fits you perfect. Today marks the conclusion of this 13 year journey that your parents and family members have been so dedicated to in order to see you seated here today. Your parents and family members are truly the unsung heroes of so much of your success. They are tired, but they are also quite proud. I can assure you if given the opportunity, they would do it again in a heartbeat. At this time, I would like to ask our parents and guardians of our seniors to please stand and students, please look to your parents and give them the thanks that they deserve for all the years of support. Parents, thank you for giving us your very best. The product of your success sits before us and know that you have crossed the finish line. Students, today you will leave this arena as the class of 2018, alumni of Beaver Creek High School, and you will begin a new chapter in your life. Five years from now, you will probably not remember much of what I had to say to you this morning but I hope you will remember this one piece of final advice. As you begin the pursuit of your dreams, whatever you choose to do with your life, be the best person you can be. I like to end with a quote from Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, discover. To the class of 2018, job well done. Godspeed, best of luck, and smooth sailing.
At this time, we ask that our student council officers please come to the stage and be recognized. We ask that you please hold your applause until all five have been introduced. President Sarah Inahosa. Vice President Jay Davidson. Secretary Rosalie Devine. Treasurer Helena Nguyen. And historian Alexis Lemieux. We also ask that our class officers come to the stage and be recognized. Again, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. President Jay Davidson, <laughs> Vice President James Bai, Secretary Alexis Moore, Treasurer Helena Nguyen, and historian Sarah Inahosa. At this time, Senior Class President Jay Davidson will speak to the Class of 2018. Good morning, families, faculty, and fellow graduates. Today marks one of the most important and monumental milestones that we will encounter in our lives. As we're gathered here to celebrate over a decade's worth of hard work and learning, we're full of gratitude for our parents and families for their unwavering support and for our teachers for always pushing us to be better and more hardworking people, even if that meant assigning infinite amounts of homework to slowly drain us of the will to live. <laughs> As my mom forced me to start writing this speech, I found myself reflecting on the experiences we all shared during our four years at BHS. I remember walking into Ferguson Hall on the first day of freshman year. I thought to myself, this is nothing like high school on TV. Nobody broke out into song and dance like in High School Musical, but nobody was getting shoved into lockers or wedged in the hallway, so it wasn't too bad. I quickly learned that we were the annoying freshmen and that no matter how cool we thought we were, we would always be the annoying freshmen. That's probably why we were locked away at Ferguson, far from the tall and scary upperclassmen. Some of the important takeaways from freshman year were that we were at the bottom of the food chain, Homecoming was just a euphemism for a gym full of a thousand sweaty teenagers awkwardly trying to dance, and that during our mandatory gym class, we had to make sure to keep our bags locked away. <laughs> As sophomores, we thought we'd moved up in the world, when really it was just freshman year part two. However, there were some exciting moments that year. We all got to transition into the main building, which at the time seemed gigantic, and I'm sure most of us got lost or wandered in the wrong class at some point that year. Also, many of us started learning how to drive, which is a pretty terrifying thought as I look out at all of you. It's probably why our parents still insisted on dropping us off and picking us up from football games, homecoming, and other school activities at the expense of our dignity. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> then came junior year and the dreaded question from all our relatives. So what are your plans after high school? As I tried to articulate my answer to that question, I realized I'd never planned ahead more than my next meal, let alone the rest of my life. Reality finally started to hit us, and let me tell you, it hit us pretty hard. 
We took the ACT, the SAT, AP test, and every other standardized test the state could think of. We ventured to the Career Center or to local colleges to take challenging classes that prepared us for our futures. We joined extracurricular organizations and took on leadership roles. We tried out for varsity sports teams and led them to victory in multiple state tournaments. We asked our dates to our first prom in the most elaborate ways we could imagine. We were finally upperclassmen, and through these stressful times, we found our true friends and the people that were always there to support and encourage us when we needed it the most. Finally came the year we'd all been waiting for, senior year. The year was full of challenging situations and memories that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. Whether we decided to apply to various colleges, enlist in the armed forces, or find our place in the workforce, we had to fill out countless applications and ask teachers to write recommendation letters for us as we hoped that they prayed, as we hoped and prayed that they would forget how annoying we were in all their classes. For many of us, senior year was a lot more work than we expected it to be, but it was also a lot more fun than we could have ever imagined. The year started off on a high note as we were introduced to our third high school principal, Mr. Karras. I think I speak for all of us when I say that we definitely saved the best for last. Mr. Karras managed to unite our school in a way that nobody had ever done before, and we loved him for it, even if we weren't allowed to wear our favorite hats. <laughs> but look how far we've come today. <laughs> this past year also marked many milestones for our school as we witnessed our seniors compete at the highest level in athletics, academics, and the performing arts while making school history, and we had the best student section in Ohio to support him every step of the way. We all learned to appreciate the pride and commitment that it takes to become a beaver, and we got to witness one of the most historic years for our high school. The creek truly rose this year, and I have no doubt that it will continue to rise as we all find out where life will take each and every one of us. The class of 2018 was one of the best classes, if not the best class, to pass through Reef Creek High School, and I'm confident that we will all find unimaginable success in the coming years. I'm sure most of you are either asleep or wishing I would shut up already, so I promise I'm almost done. I want to wrap up my speech by addressing some of the most important people in the room today. First off, I want to thank our principal, Mr. Karras, and the rest of our amazing administrative staff for one of the most unforgettable years of our lives. The things they did for our high school were incredible, and I'm sure all of us appreciate the hard work and dedication they put in for us this past year. Next, I want to give a shout out to a man who has been a role model and a hero to myself and everybody else at BHS. Officer Brown is probably the greatest man I've ever met. I speak for all of us. I speak for all of us when I say that he will be truly missed at the high school as he moves on to new opportunities next year. It takes a special kind of person to put themselves in harm's way to protect the community, and Officer Brown did just that and more without hesitation every single day. Thank you, Officer Brown. I also want to thank Google, Wikipedia, and whoever invented copy and paste for always being there for me, especially in the late hours of the night. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank all of the teachers, parents, family members, and friends who have touched our lives and shaped us to the people we are today. Personally, I don't know where I'd be without their support, so thank you for all the kindness and mentorship you've shown me and the rest of my classmates. So, class of 2018, let's show everyone who's impacted our lives that we are worth all the trouble they went through for us. Let's show them what we can do. Let's show them that we are going to be the class that will change the future and create a better world. Because if anyone on this earth can do it, it will be the kids sitting in this gym today. It's been a pleasure spending the last 12 years of my life with you, and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.
this time, we would like to recognize the class of 2018 salutatorians. Please approach the stage. Please hold your applause until the names of all 10 students have been announced. William Ming Yoon Chan. David Curtis Cohen. Diana Antu Nguyen Den. Ryan Odell Hill. Vanya Zhao. Zan Peng Kuang. Stephanie Lynn Pierce. Jimmy Mahara Prasad Shah. Amy Sin. Megan Mihua Suber. Now we would like to recognize our four valedictorians for the class of 2018. Again, please hold your applause until all four names are announced. Swetha Sajay Bindu. Brian Dong. Vinod Kumar Inukanda. Zi Zhu. Before we begin our speeches today, we would like the audience to help honor those who lost their lives yesterday at Santa Fe High School. We have been lucky enough to finish our high school careers and celebrate our graduation today. Please help us honor those who will not get that same chance by participating in a moment of silence. Thank you. Good morning, family, friends, administrators, and teachers. And good morning, class of 2018. It is finally May 19th. It is finally graduation day. For the longest time, I didn't know how to write this speech. I was told it should be motivational, reflective, and written like three weeks ago. Unfortunately, I came down with a really bad case of senioritis and ended up procrastinating until yesterday. But you know what they say, your best work comes out when you're frantically searching through TED Talks websites for source material. Just kidding, but I did realize something while I was staring at my computer screen for inspiration. I realized I was having so much trouble with the speech because the high school experience is not something you can summarize well in a three to five minute speech. There's too many emotions, too many, wow, that happened moments to include. And what's more, the things that we learn from the past four years are different for each of us because the lens through which we experience BHS are also different. But there are some lessons that we all learn together, like that the only good water fountain in the high school is the one in the history hallway next to Cusick's room. Or that the marching band is no longer the only highlight during football games. The cheerleaders and the dance team are pretty good too. Just kidding, the football team is great. But there are also lessons that high school taught us about life, as much as they hurt to learn. One of the toughest lessons that I, and I'm sure many of you had had to learn, is that failure is okay. That disappointment is okay. Not being able to be the best, even though you gave it your best, is okay. High school has taught us that our report card for life will not always be filled with perfect grades. And a 4.0 unweighted GPA is impossible to maintain in everything. I'm standing here speaking before you today because I got a bunch of A's in school. 
But there have been so many other things in life where I have gotten the F. My height, for example. <laughs> but that's okay, because there are things in the past four years where each of us have succeeded. And the joy and the pride that came from those successes are what you should keep at the forefront of your mind moving on. And while those successes will always make up for the failures, just remember that when it comes to life, nobody is a valedictorian. When I think of what lies outside those doors, I alternate between thinking of a dark hallway where you're gonna get mugged and thinking of like a buffet where everything is all you can eat. Because outside of those doors, you're free. Free from the no hats except on spirit days policy, free from the no games in class even though everyone just plays Fortnite on their Chromebooks anyway policy, free from so many other restrictions, but also free from the protection of high school. Because in the end, that's what high school is, life on training wheels, where we can go as fast as we want without crashing, but where we also learn what it feels like to fall once in a while and get bruised without breaking our bones. And once we take those wheels off, there's not much stopping you from falling down except your ability to bike fast enough. But that's the price of freedom, the possibility of failure. And that's the beauty of freedom, knowing that failure will always be on the horizon, but that you're free to get back up from falling and keep on pedaling to reach that goal. Before I give my last minute bit of advice, disclaimer, I am in no way qualified to give this, so if you follow my advice and you screw up, it's on you. So here it is. Celebrate finishing high school today, tomorrow, however long you want to, because you deserve it for coming out of senior year somewhat alive and still relatively sane. However, don't forget everything you've learned these four years afterwards. Don't forget that it's okay to fall off the bike and complain while you're on the ground. But don't let that stop you from getting back up and going after your dreams. Because even if you fail to catch them, at least you got a great workout. I won't say it's been a great four years because I'm still traumatized from doing Mr. Wegley's 1,000 point research project. <laughs> but I can definitely say it's been a memorable four. And I'm honored to have shared them all with you even if I'm seeing a lot of you for the first time today. Thank you all for not booing me off the stage and congratulations class of 2018 because I believe that we are done. Welcome honored guests teachers, and families to this monumental day for the class of 2018. To all my peers, strangers, and friends alike, it's time to let out a sigh of relief. We have made it, and all our troubles are over. The most challenging years of our life are through. Everything will be smooth sailing from here on out. Yeah, we wish. My fellow students, today we arrive at a crossroad, which reminds me of an old riddle. In front of you are two paths into the forest. On one path is the man who always tells the truth, and on the other is the man who always tells lies. You are allowed to ask one man one question before making your choice down what you believe is the right path. Some of you have no doubt already heard of this riddle, and some of you probably already know the solution. What you might not realize, however, is that for us, there aren't just two paths to choose from. A third one, a fourth one, and maybe another one hidden in the bushes. From this point onwards, the paths you can walk on are countless. Don't listen to the advice of people who stand at the opening of forest paths. That's how you get kidnapped. <laughs> Choose your own road and take the advice of people who are actually close to you. Bring confidence, knowledge, and tenacity, but also humbleness, forgiveness, and restraint. And maybe some pepper spray as well, just to be safe. <laughs> Remember that today is not the flagpole marking the finish line. It is merely a checkpoint. Go forward in your life knowing that there are many more checkpoints along the way. Sometimes you'll coast through life without a care in the world, and sometimes you'll run out of steam and be forced to crawl for a while. But no matter how long the tunnel may be in your future, know that there is always light at the end. And don't worry, it's not the light of an oncoming train. But no matter how long the tunnel may be in your future, oh, sorry. Remember what you, remember what you have honed during your time at BHS. Not the formulas from your calculus textbook or calculating the amount of days you can afford to skip school, but rather the motivation to move forward and the willingness to ask questions. 
why do objects fall when you let go? Why do we have seasons? And why did the chicken cross the road? Questioning the world and finding answers to our questions is how we improve, how we grow, and how we try to sound witty during a graduation speech. Unfortunately, not all of us can solve theories of the universe by sitting under an apple tree. It may very well take some of us our entire lifetime to make something meaningful and to leave a lasting legacy. It may seem daunting at first, creating something that the world will remember you for. In fact, some people along the way may tell you that it's impossible. And truthfully, they may be right. But so what? We've all probably thought at one point that high school is impossible. All those essays, projects, exams, and worst of all, speeches. We've all thought about giving up, but look at all of you now, wearing your caps and gowns alongside your peers with that smug smile that says, I've done it. Keep forging forward, my friends, and continue to innovate and to improve. The only impossible journey is the one you never begin. Thank you. begin my grad speech, can we just have a moment to fully embrace how proud we should all be to be part of such a diverse and talented group of motivated young adults? And at the same time, let us not forget the immense time and effort our parents, friends, and teachers have dedicated to make us possible. Now, I realize that nothing I could say on this stage could ever be as meaningful as these dear connections that we have built over the course of our lives. So I will try to keep my speech short and simple so that we may better spend today celebrating it with the people we love. Parents, do you remember the first time you held your child in your arms? Could you have ever imagined how small we were then compared to how big we are today? Now, everybody, consider this. At one point in our lives, whether it has happened already or has yet to happen, we were picked up by our parents and put down for the last time. All of our lives are distinctly highlighted by these firsts and lasts. From the first time your parents held you in their arms to the last time after which they let you stride on your own. From your first day walking wide-eyed into elementary school to your last day marching with high spirits out of the commons alongside your fellow seniors. And from the first time you met your best friend to the last embrace you share before heading your separate ways after the next few months. And while I cannot, cannot stress enough the immense significance that each first and last have, that is not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is everything in between. I want to remind all of us to cherish the slow and sentimental process of growing up in the arms of our parents. I want us to celebrate the grueling journey of overcoming all the trials and tribulations of high school. I want us to reflect upon gradually aging in the company of our dearest friends. Because everything between the first and the last is the process of becoming. And this process of growing up and growing older is what makes us who we are. It is through the routine of every day that we gradually gain experience and become better, more wholesome people. This interaction between our friends, our family, and our work, this is what makes up the substance of our lives not some arbitrary value of how much fame or wealth we have. One of my favorite quotes about this is, in practice, thousands of little women in their villages have lived more gentle, more equable, and more constant lives than Cicero, who was like some famous Roman dude. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't really matter exactly what you do in your life, it's a matter of how you live it. And as the Beaver Creek class of 2018, we already do plenty. We have great scholars, great musicians, and great athletes. But each of us must never cease to live genuinely and love the process of becoming great. If I were to leave today with a single message, it would be to realize just how significant each day, each conversation, each victory, each defeat, each love, each loss, each life is. Because there will be a day when we run out of time to fully appreciate them. And while it is absolutely true that life can be a series of checkpoints, the act of merely getting to these checkpoints or even finishing the whole marathon is not just what life is about. It's about appreciating the people you meet along the way, finding meaning in the simplicities of daily happenings, and becoming a better person by the time you do reach the end. So everybody, 
After this ceremony is over, go out with your friends, go out with your families, and enjoy this first step into your adult life. And when today is over, keep on going on to chase your dreams. But throughout your journey, always, always, always in every second of being, remember to enjoy yourselves and those around you. Thank you. What is up, class of 2018? <laughs> See, I came here with a prepared speech, but I think I'm gonna speak from the heart. <sighs> nah, I'm just playing, I got a second one right here. <laughs> Students, teachers, and staff, I wanna start off this speech by thanking my parents, for without them, I would not be standing in front of all of you today. With their guidance, love and affection, and the cracking of the whip, literally, I'm first in my class. I also would like to thank all the amazing teachers and coaches that have provided enlightenment throughout the years at Beaver Creek. Finally, despite its many changes in the past four years, I would like to thank the administration. Mr. Karras and Mr. Martin have done a marvelous job communicating with the students and staff, making the last year in high school an incredible experience. Mr. Karras for being the best and most understanding principal ever. Now, I would also like to thank Sparknotes, Slater for getting me through high school because without them, I would have to read books. <laughs> Many of you do not know me and that's okay because to be honest, I'm still meeting new people in our grade that have been there since freshman year. So follow me on Snapchat and if you wanna play some Fortnite on PS4, my username is awesome10319. <laughs> I made that in seventh grade, so don't laugh. Now, school has been a roller coaster for almost everyone providing us with good memories. Like when the boys soccer team won the state championship when the swim team made it to states. Having a state qualifier in tennis since 1998, shout out to Austin Steiger. Now, there were bad memories too, like the school lunch menu, the sleepless nights because you procrastinated, breaking a finger playing phalanges, getting your ankles crossed in basketball, using all your money on gas every weekend. Then there were the weird memories. There was a time where a kid ate goose crap on a grape, a time where a kid drank his own pee. Someone threw a lunch tray at Becky and got Saturday school. The smelly bathrooms. Actually, no. I don't know why, but the bathrooms always smell nice at our school. And wearing a shirt that said, I am the bomb, on the day of a bomb threat. <laughs> and then finally, someone put on their Snapchat story, gay guys ready for prom, when they meant to say, hey guys, ready for prom. <laughs> now, these are just a few of the memories that I'll miss when I go to college. Now, we are graduating from high school and are about to take the next big steps in our lives. From here, there are a myriad of paths one can take. High school is just the warm up, now it's game time. Whether you're going to college or not, there are going to be bigger obstacles ahead of us without our parents or teachers to hold our hands anymore. It is now our responsibility to strive for a better future. For 18 years, we have been protected by our parents, but now, as adults ourselves, it is on all of you to pick up the torch and start running. There's something I want to impart on all of you today before you leave. My dad always told me that there is a balance to everything. If you study for a long time, you should balance that with the same amount of fun. If you're studying constantly, then you're going to lack in a social life and overall be depressed. So do not be afraid to put down your book for a second to let yourself have a little break. Now it goes both ways though. If you're constantly partying, do not be afraid to pick up the book and studying because your life depends on it. A balance between having fun and having the right worth ethic will lead to a fulfilling life. So upon leaving Beaver Creek High School, Cherish the memories and lessons over the years while staying focused on your goal ahead. And at the same time, do as Snoop Dogg says, live young, wild, and free. Now, there's a phrase called for the culture that a high achieving student created, FTC for short. When you do it for the culture, you do something for what you believe is right in your heart. Don't let anyone take, away, take that away from you and strive for the best. So I wanna hear you chant FTC, FTC, FTC. FTC, 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 FTC. Okay, no one did it. Okay, wow, I feel stupid.
Board of Education members, Mr. Otten, at this time, I present to you this class of graduating candidates from Beaver Creek High School. It is my pleasure, my distinct pleasure, to verify that these young people have met all requirements set forth by the great state of Ohio and Beaver Creek Board of Education for graduation from the Beaver Creek High School. Before we hand out diplomas, those in the stands, please remember one thing. This is about these great young adults in front of us. If you brought noisemakers and bamboozlers and swizz twizzlers, please, if you could hold those until the very end when we change the tassels. Every one of these students deserves to be recognized like everyone else. And if we're making loud noises, we may interrupt that from one of these great young people. Please, let's honor them and show them the class that they have shown us all year. Now, at this time, first row, would you please stand? Swaifa Sajay Bindu, Corbin Daniel Kunkel, Brian Dong, Matthew Carl Lacey, Vinod Kumar Inukanda, Alexander Mackenzie Lanter, Z Zhu, Joshua Michael Lassen, William Ming Yoon Chan, Sarah Ann Lofman, David Curtis Cohen, James Harold Lawrence IV. Woo! Diana Antu Win Din. Kayla Marie Leach. Ryan Odell Hill. Harrison Russell Leak. Vanya Zhao. Jaden Taylor Lee. Zan Peng Kuang. Hannah Marie Lefevers. Stephanie Lynn Pierce. Alexis Marie Lemieux. Jimmy Mahabar Prasad Shaw. Garston James Lesko. Amy Sin. Jacob Isaac Lewis. Megan Mi Hua Suber. Jamel Markel Lige. John Michael Abbott. Alan Lynn Jr. Mackenzie Elizabeth Abbott. Bailey Ann Lishke. Walid Hussam Ahmad Aladwan. Gavin Paul Lishke. Ethan Charles Ar Albert. Jonathan C. Young Hao Lu. Jonathan Peter Alessandro. Esteban Gabriel Giannis Jr. Joseph Lawrence Alessandro. Cameron Nicole Lochner. Cameron Anthony Allen. Logan Douglas Lesh. Ashley Marie Altop. Cameron Michael Long. Eric David Anderson. Jared Reed Long. Joseph Daniel Anderson. Madeline Victoria Lozier. Elizabeth Michelle Andes. Preston Mitchell Lowe. Hannah Marie Apple. Dawson Ford Lutz, Stephen Javier Aquino, Olivia Marie, Marie Lux, Christiana Rebecca Archer, Jet Parker Likens, Arthur Gregory Arnold, Kathleen Allison McLean, Sydney Sierra Arthur, <laughs> Benjamin John McLeod, Brooke Madeline Otis, 
Meredith Helen McGee, Jacob Ryan Ayers, Elizabeth Cecilia Malik, James Yang Bai, Emily Ann Malik, Matthew Alexander Bailey, Catherine Suzanne Malik, Nathan Brett Bain, Elizabeth Ann Malley, Alexander Joseph Banks, Jacob Duncan Maloney, Jersey Donovan Banks, Gage Camden Manger, Alex John Barbadora, Zoe Madeline Mann, Jacob Norman David Barty, Elizabeth Catherine Manning, Brandon Alexander Beemendorfer, Kirsten Alyssa Manuel, Caden Christopher Bean, Abigail Catherine Manns, Riley Marcus Bell, Nicole Marie Manzardo, Robert Adam Bernhard III, Zachary Dylan Markham, Austin Robert Bellamy, Renee Joel Margraf, Nicholas Joseph Belmonte, Blake Stephen Martin, Manav Benawal, Piper Madison Martino, Damian Mulroyal Ethelbert Benjamin, Emily Catherine Mathis, Andrew Webb Bennett, Chelsea Ann Matlow, Corey Grant Bennett, Gunta Singh Matu, Jessica Lynn Burnett, Heather Nicole Mari, Ryan Wesley Barrett, Rachel Michelle Mori, Ashley Lee Berry, Laura Yancy May, Jacob Berry, Dominic Joseph Mazzoni, Valeria Berzunza Haramio, J. Lee McCaffrey, Caitlin Elizabeth Byer, Nicholas Daniel McAllister, Cami Rose Bazilla, Avery Pauline McCarthy, Cherish Hope Bilbrey, Grace Ann McClama, Cameron Barry Bissett, Brant Matthew McClanahan, Reese Michael Blackmore, Allison Lynn McGee, Marie Ray Block, Jordan Destiny McGuire, Alexandria Tatum Bond, Christopher J. McNew, Damian Joseph Bonds, John Peyton Menke, Madison Elizabeth Boer, Grace Catherine Merkel, Marcella Lee Bordas, Zagan Mackenzie Myers, Brandon Charles Bowling, Alec Christopher Michelson, Haley Renee Bowman, Alexandria Nicole Miller, Lacey Michaela Brannon, Joshua Richard Miller, Gabriel Joseph Brosh, Lane Robert Miller, Elizabeth May Bridgman, Lincoln David Miller, Michaela Rose Brierly, Mary Beth Miller, Taylor Lee Brockman, Allison Loretta Minnick, Madison Jean Brodnick, Lauren Alice Mitchell, Nathan Ty Brooks, Jaden Michaela Mobius, Alex Churchill Brown, Keaton Michael Monroe, Morgan Lynn Brown, Michael Lee Montgomery, Tyler Drew Browning, Alana Corinne Moore, Jacob Daniel Lynn Buck, 
Alexis Lynn Moore. Kelly Wynn Bui. Christopher Logan Moore. Sophia Beatrice Bush. Madison Taylor Moore. Claire Elizabeth Butcher. Zachary Noah Moore. Dominic Reese Calabrese. Hunter Wayne Morgan. Kylie Michelle Caldwell. Kyle Allen Morgan. Erica Nicole Callahan. Felicia Louise Mort. Austin Todd Camden. Madison Corinne Morton. Cody Aaron Campbell. Allison Margaret Muckerhide. Esther Theodora Candela. Austin Michael Mundy. Andrea Catherine Canistero. Cole Bryant Myers. Brittany Ann Canfield. Van Oakley Myers. Christopher Richard Carenza. Sean Douglas Nas. Ryan Nicholas Carlson. Nicholas Matthew Nader. Claire Aaliyah Cash. Drew Kumar Nanda. Brooklyn Mackenzie Kashner. Anthony Marquez Nelson Jr. Jacob Allen Cottle. Eric Matthew Nelson. Mackenzie Rose Center. Bryce Franklin Noose. Abigail Dixie Champagne. Caitlin May Newport. Wynn Shin. Casey Joseph Newton. Allison Judith Christensen. Kayla Marie Neira. Oakley Dylan Clay. Ann Du Nguyen. Haley Marion Clark. Helena Nguyen. Jonathan Parker Clark. Nicholas Nguyen. Sydney Lynn Cleverly. Matthew James Nozar. Paul Branson Coates. Austin Sean Newskin. Thomas Brian Cole. Taylor Renee O'Donnell. Jordan Scout Coleman. Luke Patrick O'Keefe. Benjamin David Collins. Nathan Kyle Orcutt. Joseph David Confer. Kevin William Orlana. Sarah Ann Conning. Peyton McCraw Orloff. Joseph Aaron Cook, Jr. Christina Renee Oswald. Sydney Louise Copeland. Jacob John Oxner. Brent Matthew Corcoran. Benjamin William Page. Joseph Michael Cormier. Gurkamel Singh Panu. Catherine Elizabeth Corwin. Ethan Charles Parks. Maxwell Garrett Coulter. Kylie Ann Pauley. Grayson Matthew Cox. Chad Stephen Peacock. David Alexander Crane. Samuel Michael Pearl. Kendra Raylene Crawford. Vincent Taylor Peden. Carissa Brooke Crespo. Samantha Lynn Peed. Megan Lynn Crum. Austin John Pendergast. Christopher Philip Capilli Cruz. Logan Patrick Pennington. Tatum Nicole Cullum. Benjamin Allen Petrick. Lily Beth Cutler. Joseph Neil Pullman. Melinda Dacri Kim. Paige Jordan Powell. Sabrina Rose D. Alessandro. Jenna Marie Powers. Braden David Van Dang. Natasha Paulin Ann Price. Connor Michael Davey. Jordan Zachary Priest. J. Thomas Davidson. JC Renee Prunist. Kevin Brian Davis. 
Audrey Nicole Prozicki. Liam Joseph Davis. Hannah Elizabeth Purden. Chloe Elise Doskalis. Kavish Siraj Ramharak. Jacob Matthew Halson. Luis Gustavo Ramirez Rosado. Megan Suzanne DeBay. McKenna Delaney Ramsey. Josie Lynn Delk. Dawson Lee Randall. Gary Conrad DiMartino. Rachel Nicole Rathbun. Colton McKenzie Durham. Jessica Grace Rechtorvik. Rhea Rakesh Desai. Ananya Reddy. Matthew Allen DeShields. Hannah Aviana Remy. Rosalie Marie Devine. Jasmine Desiree Rendon. Brandon Donald DeWitt. Kendall Renee Rezegi. Thomas Bailey Dickinson. Michaela Renee Rhodes. Nicholas William Derringer. Shelby Suzanne Rice. Andrew Lee Dillon. Joseph Edward Riedel. Dakota Ray Dillo. Paul Adam Riedel. Corinne Nicole Dillsaver. Alexander Robert Rice. Rachel Elaine Demeth. Cheyenne Marie Wright. Liam Allen Dipple. Morgan Lee Riffle. Graham Owen Doherty. Ryan Tyler Riffner. Daniel James Donahue Jr. Garrett Michael Riley. Braden Richard Doyle. Jake Allen Riley. Bailey Elizabeth Drawn. Ethan Douglas Rosati. Savannah Coral Drum. Laura, Laura Himena Roa. Bennett William Durbin. Allison Michelle Robbins. Jacob Francis Edmonds. Ian Jacob Roberts. Adriana El Chami. Lillian Marie Robillard. Mackenzie Elizabeth Elliott. Jared Thomas Robinson. Caleb Bryce Ellison. Sierra Paige Robinson. Anna Marie Elise England. Ramey S. Rogers. Peyton Nicole Ernst. Leslie Marie Rosales. Devin Jonathan Espinoza. Heavenly Robin Rose. Andrew Lee Eversall. Samuel Tate Rowe. Chimboyam Fortune Ezalora. Celeste Shea Rucker. Ashley Marie Fairchild. Rafael Ruiz Jr. Austin David Farrell. Tessa Marie Rupert. Caleb Joseph Foley. Mia Danielle Ross. Brianna Lee Ferguson. Cameron Michael Ryan. Lauren Elizabeth Fields. Caden Trey Salas. Rose Mary Fields. Curran Grace Salazar. John Andrew Fitzmartin. Susu Mahmoud Saleh. Alex Charles Flick. Christopher Owen Sandborg. Brandy Joanne Flannery. Shane William Sanders. Brianna Renee Flannery. Zainab Soyad Hayson. Haley Nicole Fleck. Andrew Luis Saidi. Joshua Allen Fleck. Evan Thomas Saylor. Kaylee Scarlett Fugate. Jacob Ryan Schaub. 
Matthew James Franklin. Frank Frederick Schenkel. Madeline Elizabeth Fry. Matthew Alexander Schneider. Anna Grace Heading. Anthony Justin Schutzis. Dalton James Walker Froween. Nicole Allison Scouten. Alexander Nikolai Fullerton. Mary Grace Sebastian. Anthony John Gaetano III. Vitaly Allen Seiler. Kelsey Lee Galley. Megan K. Sheets. Kylie Maureen Galley. Justin Scott Shiverdecker. Lydia Marlene Galloway. Landon Hugh Shoemake. Mariana Isabel Guy. Aubrey Nicole Short. Keelan Marie Geist. Austin Dean Sherlow. Ian Christopher George. Benjamin Allen Sylvie. McKaylee Jade George. Elizabeth Lauren Sintz. Samuel Paul Geyer. Tyler Scott Six. Dylan Jack Gilmore. Sarah Jane Skaggs. Jacob Michael Glazier. Eleanor Rosamund Skies. Rachel Elizabeth Gehring. Ashton Lynn Small. Kelly Renee Goenaga Lask. Alec Edward Smith. Brandon Michael Gold. Brenna Mackenzie Smith. Linda Edith Gonzalez. Brooke Alexis Smith. Derek William Gooch. Alicia May Smith. Adam Daniel Grader. Ryan Scott Smith. Taylor Ann Grandmont. Sydney Cassandra Smith. Patrick Sean Grantham. Taylor Brianne Smith. Isabel Dominica Grega. Taylor Diane Smith. Anya Karina Grise. Zachary Travis Smith. Joshua David Griffith. Madeline Sue Smithwick. Caden Robert Grimm. Kara Elizabeth Snyder. Grant Tyler Grinstead. Cole Evan Snodgrass. Megan Danielle Gustafson. Mackenzie Taylor Sorensen. Curtis Thomas Guthrie. Candace Marie Sparrow. Alexander Carl Hall. Philip Matthew Spencer. Alyssa K. Hall. Andrew Thomas Sinclair. Christopher Tyler Hall. Jameson Noah Stamper. Aaron Bailey Halsey. Tyler Zachary Stans. Nicholas Manning Hahn. Remy Nicole Stanforth. Demetrius Emmanuel Apocalypse Hardeman. Jackson Wade Stanley. Shelby Lynn Hardy. Catherine Rose Stark. Lillian Alora Harmeling. Abigail Nicole Statton. Jacob Patrick Harmon. Jarek Andrew Steck. Olivia Grace Harnish. Abigail Joy Steineman. Savannah Augustine Hartman. Zoe Alexandra Stenholm. Connor Caitlin Hastings. Madison Jane Stitt. Eli Joseph Hahn. Emily Jordan Stomps. Tiffany Carol Hayes. Patrick Joseph Stout. William Lee Haygood III. 
Claire Elizabeth Sterkel. Autumn Corinne Heckler. Veronica Elizabeth Susi. Ian Mark Highland. Ian. Joshua Boyd Sutton. Cameron James Heim. Cameron. Elena Ruth Suzuki. <laughs> Madison Louise Heiser. Danielle Catherine Swain. Taylor Angela Hemerick. George Donald Swanson IV. Megan Elaine Henry. Guinevere Elaine Sweeney. Jamie Erica Marcus Hensley. Zachary Lee Swetlick. Maggie Ann Hergenrather. Faith Leanne Takis. May Elise Hickey. Isaac Raul Talent. Tyler William Hicks. Oksana Marie Tangeman. Madison Nicole Hicks. Tate Michael Targert. Sarah Elizabeth Inahosa. Tori Ann Targert. Alyssa Marie Hinton. Morgan Renee Taylor. Abigail Marie Hitt. Tara Lynn Tellis. Colton Brett Hobbs. Parker Edward Turwell. John Logan Davis Hobbs. Savannah Ella Ann Thiel. Cody William Hawker. Emily Marie Thomas. Thomas Worthington Hodson III. Chandler Leslie Thomason III. Benjamin Thomas Hoff. Miranda Jewel Thompson. Kira Joy Pony. Ryan Patrick Thompson. Timothy Robert Holstein. Addison Elizabeth Tiffany. Ashley Nicole Holzapfel. Jacob Daniel Tips. Esther Ping Hu. Riley Tristan Toby. Sean Woods Hu. Nithia Sai Tritchy. Michael Paul Howard. Abigail Marie Troyer. Alan Huang. Alyssa Nicole Turner. Kirsten Juliana Huckey. James Mason Turner. Kayla Gabrielle Huff. Javier Jose Ubinas. Carson Duane Hume. Taylor Ann Ulrich. Carter Darren Hume. Zachary Tyler Van Hosen. Haley Eileen Hutchins. Anna Beth Vandewile. Aaliyah Honeyfay Ingalls. Abigail Paige Vaughn. Paris Devonique Jackson. Tyne Dot Vo. Ryan Palmer Jeffrey. Alexis Hope Wainwright. Puma Jihan. Alyssa Afif Joaquin. Rylan Kate Jenkins. Joshua Gregory Walls. Erica Lynn Jinks. Haley Lynn Warwick. Matthew Caesar Jimenez. Kaylee Alexis Watts. Brianna Nicole Johnson. Madison Alexis Watts. Jalen Kenyatta Johnson. Aaliyah Carol Weaver. Jamie Jerome Johnson. Kara Lynn Weaver. Logan David Johnson. Camden Allen Webb. Raiden Kyla Johnson.
Gabrielle Arlene Webster. Amelia Lauren Jones. Hannah Elise Weisgerber. Elizabeth Ann Jones. William Joseph Wells. Erica Diana Jones. Caden Bailey Wenger. William Jacob Jones. Allison Paige Wenzel. Samuel Robert Kahn. Jacob Michael Westerkamp. Hannah Louise Kammer. Austin Stephen Wilhelm. Justin Thomas Coughlin. Carmen Simone Williams. Sean Elliott Keck. Dylan Michael Williams. Nicholas Charles Kelly. Evan Robert Williams. Hallie Brianne Kendrick. Jared Sprenzel Williams. Amir Goharali Khan. Jordan Christopher Williams. Omir Khan. Shaylin McKenzie Williams. Taewoo Kim. Daniel Mark Wilson. Austin Bradley Kimball. Matthew James Wilson. Riley Ann King. John Freeman Wiltshire. Megan Elizabeth Kirkland. Thomas Edward Wirtz. Nicole Abigail Kitson. Andia Nicole Farin Witcher. Matthew Jonathan Klingbile. Christopher Lloyd Wolford. Noah Gabriel Knackstead. Dylan Matthew Woodcomb. Noah Richard Koenig. Ioana Ksaitza. Brendan Stephen Joseph Keppel. Patrick Shulong Yang. Tabitha Josephine Ketter. Danielle Marie Young. Caitlin Marie Collar. Allison Francis Zielinskis. Courtney K. Collar. Precious Brooklyn Zeusman. Justin Daniel Crable. <laughs> Emma Marie Kryle. Not yet, not yet. Students, adults, everyone in the place, we have one more task to complete. Creek, would you please rise? Rise, Creek. All in the Creek, please rise. Would you join me in the turning of your tassels from light to left, which signifies you are now graduates of the Beaver Creek High School. Congratulations. <laughs> 